Oh, here comes the sandstorm. It's looking a wee bit windy out there, boys. Everybody take cover. Everybody hold on to your butts. And if you don't have a butt, hold on to your friend's butt. Well, hello, 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 everybody. My name is Cuddles, and welcome back to Jurassic World Evolution 2. This is, of course, the Chaos Theory version for The Lost World. Now, it has been a th th thick minute since we've actually been on here doing this. Probably at least four seasons that thickness. Uh, so we're back after a little bit of time, and I think the most recent thing that we've sort of done... Uh-oh, what happened to you? <coughs> Avian pox, that's not good. But I think the most recent thing that we've sort of done is we've unlocked this boundary, and we've kind of tried to expand this way a little bit. I'm pretty sure it cut off towards like here's before. Now we unlocked this big section and are starting to expand. Uh, soon we'll be able to unlock this whole section and then we should be able to wrap this whole thing up. I don't know if we'll be able to finish it all today. It's definitely going to take a good bit of time, but I know that I had talked about possibly doing that before just so we can try and kind of get this whole thing wrapped up, but we'll see what happens. And I guess we can just medicate you straight away. We don't even need to scan it, so uh, we can take away that test. Or, or I guess it doesn't matter if it gets scanned. I imagine that what we're going to want to do is just kind of expand a little bit more this way and get some new dinosaurs. Like, obviously, we're going to want to get some new creatures in here since our Rexes has just passed away in the previous video. But at the very least, I think we're going to want to try and get some new species. So how have you guys been? Uh, I know that, like, obviously I can't hear y'all, but um, I do kind of think it'd be Fun to just kind of chat with you guys, even though you guys can't reply to me, like, directly. You can still, like, leave comments or something, because I do care about you guys and how you are all doing. And I just, I don't know, I thought it'd be fun to talk. I've just kind of been with school and everything. Uh, that's all going interestingly. Chemistry 2 is definitely going to be difficult, as well as calculus, but, uh, hey, I think we'll get through it. Oh, well, that's enough about me. Back onto the video. I'm thinking that maybe we'll go for the little Trudons, or perhaps we could make, like, a big herbivore sort of exhibit. Um, but I tell you what though, we'll do Coelophysis just because it's a little bit of like a newer creature. We had Trudon in the previous game. Uh, so we'll get the Trudon here and we'll just take a look at, let's see, faster expeditions? No, it's not a thing, but we can do cheaper expeditions. Yay! And then I guess we can throw in a motivated person. And yeah, that should be more than enough right there. So we'll go ahead and send them off on their way. And let's see, what else do we need to try and do? I have a hundred guests, reach three stars, and have a total appeal of 4,000. Okay, and I think dinosaur appeal is just simply going to be having a bunch of, uh, like, highly rated dinosaurs in visibility cones, or visibility spheres, I don't know what exactly you'd want to call them. So I think that the middle two will just come, uh, like, as a byproduct, essentially, of just getting the first one in the fourth mission. So I think if we just focus on getting these eight species, and get a nice, like, dense sort of exhibit, where the visibility of the dinosaurs is always pretty high, then I think that'll really help out with the overall dinosaur appeal and everything. So I'm just going to kind of continue this out the way that it's basically already going and we'll just kind of plop in another exhibit right here okay so check this out folks i just looked at the little statistics for the different types of guests appeals and everything like that and it says that the adventure guests which is the one that we're going to want to increase in our park for this mission it says that they like going on tours so we're going to go ahead and research this bad boy because we obviously don't have tours in the park at the moment so let's see if we can get that underway and i think that'll help us out quite a bit so just as a quick little update, while these Coelophysis missions have been off on their expeditions, I've gone ahead and added in these four buildings along here. So we've got the food place, the drink shop, the, uh, the shopping center, and the bathroom here, as well as the little emergency bunker, because those were all things that were being pretty required. I've thrown down two viewing galleries here, and then once the tour thing is built, which it actually might be already, um, I'm sure it is actually, where is, where would Hello that be? There. Here it is, okay, so park tour. Now I'll go ahead and actually throw this in right about here in the middle. Oh, and I completely forgot about this. I accidentally, I totally forgot that I actually have this mod that just allows me to kind of place things wherever I want. So even though I have terrain constraints right there, I can just boop. doesn't even matter. So that's actually a really cool mod to have. It's very useful. If that seems like too cheaty to y'all, because this is supposed to be like a vanilla challenge sort of thing, then I can take it off. I don't know. I don't think it's actually that big a deal. I think, quite honestly, it makes things behave more how they should behave in the first place, but um, if that feels like something that y'all want me to get rid of, then we'll get rid of it for the next episode. But uh, yeah, just thought I'd at least point that out, because I had no idea it was even a thing until I was placing all these down. I was like, wow, I can actually place these really close together. And then I was like, oh, I know what's going on here. Oh, and one more little talking point that I guess we can go ahead and mention is I saw the comments for a post that I put out recently. I put out a poll asking you guys how long you guys like these episodes, and you guys all pretty voted pretty heavily in the whole like 15 to 20 minute range. So I think that's going to be what we kind of do from here on out. 
it won't change the amount of time that I put into each video, like we'll still get the same amount of progress done. It'll simply be how much detail you want me to go into whenever we're actually here doing all this stuff. So I just thought I'd let you guys know in case you either didn't see the poll or you just wanted to know how the poll went, then there you go. That's what we're going to be going for from here on out. So thank you to everybody that voted, and if you didn't vote, then I guess thanks for still watching this video. Hi there, how are you doing today? You know, I hadn't really thought about doing this before, but I suppose we could also throw in one of these tour vehicles right here in this Mementosaur Dryasaurus exhibit. I feel like that would actually do rather well, so let's go ahead and do that. I'll throw it in right here in this middle sort of section, and we'll go ahead and just make a nice winding path right along here. I think that'll look really nice. Alrighty, there we go. Coelophysis incubation is now underway. Or actually, is this incubation or synthesis? I don't even remember what it's called. I think, okay, yes, this is synthesis, and then the next step will be the actual incubation of it. Good to know, good to know. And ta-da! There we go, wait, oh god. Oh no, the gods are not happy that I made the Coelophyses. Coelophysi? I don't know. Release via airlift, here we go, baby. Oh, we get the Coelophyses in here quickly. Or maybe we should wait for after the storm? But, um, I'm a gambling man, I'm gonna throw them in there and see what happens. Alright, everybody, pull out your umbrellas. Looks like we're gonna have a big whipper of a storm coming in. Oh god, you probably do not want to be flying in those helicopters right about now. Um, oh I forget, these are gonna be sandstorms, aren't they? And see, it's been so long since I've done this. Oh, here comes the sandstorm. It's looking a wee bit windy out there, boys. Everybody take cover. Everybody hold on to your butts. And if you don't have a butt, hold on to your friend's butt. Oh, well, would you look at that? Okay, so Coelophysis actually already has all of its needs perfectly met and satisfied, which is awesome. Easy breezy dinosaur to take care of. We just literally had to place it down and give it a feeder, and that was literally it. I mean, of course we had to put it in the water, but like, if that had already been there, then literally placing down a feeder is the only thing that this thing needs, so that's really easy. You're such a cool little dude. Oh god, what's happening to that tour vehicle? <laughs> Guys, I'm gonna do something here that some of you will either really not like, or some of you will really love. Or maybe both. Some of you will hate it, some of you will love it. But, uh, you'll see what I mean. So if we come over here, we can release these all via airlift. And what I'm gonna go ahead and do, because adventure guests also love the combat infamy, is unfortunately... Well, unfortunately for the Dryosaurs... <laughs> we're gonna go ahead and drop them in here. And if you guys know what's in this exhibit, then you'd know why that's unfortunate for the Dryosaurs. <laughs> yeah, the Dryosaurs aren't exactly about to have their best day. I am so sorry to have to do this to you little Dryosaurs, but I'm just doing it for the betterment of the park. <laughs> I know that doesn't mean anything to you. If anything, you probably think that's a terrible reason, which, honestly, I don't blame you. It is a pretty bad reason, but the people want what the people want. <laughs> I know! Don't bark at me like that. I know. I feel bad enough as it is. Don't act even cuter than you already are. I'm trying to contact you regarding your car's extended warranty. Oh. Well, hello there. <laughs> oh, the first of the hunts is happening. Oh, run, little dry source. Run, run, run. Oh, no! Oh, no! Snapped his neck! Oh, poor little dry source. Nice job, Mr. Velociraptor. What is your name? Where did that even happen? Here it is, right here. What is your name? Velociraptor 02, you're an absolute alpha. You're an absolute unit, my guy. An absolute tank. Nice job, Mr. Velociraptor. You have just earned yourself some combat infamy. And this guy, oh, I think this one's on a hunt now, too. He wants to be part of the action. Let's see it go down. And the dive onto the Dryosaur. Oh, it's evading. It's evading. It's got the quick feet. It's got the quick ones. Oh, oh, no. Oh, the raptor was just totally throwing it off. Make this one think that it's safe by looking like it's going for the other one. And then pull the old switcheroo, the old bait and switch. Oh, that's a sneaky raptor right there. That's got to be the alpha of the group for sure. We got some sneaky snakes out here, folks. Never trust a raptor. You get combat infamy. You get combat infamy. Everybody gets some combat infamy. There you go, everybody. Alrighty, folks. So take a look at this. So if we look here, then you can see that my Pachycephalosaurus exhibit has basically gone extinct. And my copy one is looking just right there as well. So I'll probably have to go and put the Trudons in there. I think that's what I was actually supposed to do in the last episode, now that I think about it. Either way, I've got a batch of Triceratops incubating right now, which will be placed in this bottom one. I was pointing with my fingers. There we go, this one right here. And then I'll get to work on putting the Trudons in here. And that should really help us out as well. This guy down here just got investigated for an injury. So we'll see if we can heal you up and see what's going on. Ooh, that might be a little bit more serious. Might have to pull out the range team helicopter for that one. Let's see, does that fix the job? No, it just heals it. Okay, yeah, so we're gonna need a helicopter for that one. But I will check back with you guys once I get these placed in here. It's really just a matter of trying to make things faster than they die right now. 
so we'll see if we can get that figured out. All of the new things that we're incubating, though, have increased lifespans, so that shouldn't be an issue for much longer. So uh, we'll see what happens. I'll check back in with you guys in a moment. Okay, it's looking like we might actually tip over to completing this whole mission, because we're really close to the whole 4,000 uh, rating right now. We've got a bunch of dinosaurs being dropped in because my dilos are getting close to the end of their lifespan, so I went ahead and made a new long lifespan, like... Uh, basically just a whole new batch that has good genetics and everything like that. So hopefully that'll give a little bit of a boost and also prevent us from having another empty exhibit here in the near future. And if this doesn't tip us over, which I imagine it might, because we're already really close to it and they're not all even down yet. But if by some chance... Oh wait, why are y'all fighting so much already? If by some chance this doesn't tip us over, then the addition of the Trudons should basically secure the bag. Alrighty folks, it is time to progress the mission. Here we go. Trudons are now being released. This is guaranteed to tick us over. Mark my words, this is the one that's gonna do it right here. Just you watch. Just you watch. You'll see. You'll all see. Wait, was that not enough? Are you kidding me? Wait, we actually didn't get enough. This is insane. How has this happened? I was so sure that that was gonna be enough. Ah. <sighs> Well, I guess at least we're still making that Hyunga Bunga for this exhibit up here. Okay, folks, and there she goes. This is the creature, or the batch of creatures, that's gonna push us over to the next part of the mission. So you can see that we basically have everything that we need. We're only 120 points short of actually getting on to the next part. And I think that by simply adding in this new additional creature, it will help to boost up the whole overall rating of this exhibit. Plus, not to mention, just adding a dinosaur gives rating anyways. So we probably wouldn't even need the whole cohabitation bonus, but we're gonna get it anyways. And that should actually set us up nicely for moving on to the next bit, which I imagine will be unlocking this and finishing the park. And what I think I'm gonna do, instead of trying to continue extending everything out, since it seems like it'll be easier to just do tours and adventure guests, uh, unless it actually requires me to do a different type of guest, but what I think would be easiest and most efficient to do would be to just place a tour entrance here and have it kind of go down this long trail uh, that you can see in this open space here and it would go down and either back or it would just go down and back here and then have another one on this side that goes down and back. And I think that that would actually set us up really nicely to not having to extend a bunch more shops and everything and just simply having the tour that gets a lot of visibility and ratings and everything. And essentially the way that this would work is there would be like an exhibit here, an exhibit here, an exhibit here, and possibly even the rest of the way unless that's a whole different tour. But either way, it would just come down here and it would enter like three or so different exhibits and just circle on the way back. So it would be able to see a bunch of different creatures without having to move people all over the place and make a bunch of additional shops in order to uh, compensate for the people being distributed all over the park. And I think that'll actually make things really nice and simple and easy for us. So that's the way it's working in my head, but we'll see what happens whenever we actually get to this next part. Looks like our things are done though, so let's go ahead and release them and see what happens. Oh wait, no they're not. <gasps> Only one made it? Oh, we're gonna have to do another batch. I don't think they can live on their own. We'll see what happens though. Um, so we need six welfare points. We'll just sort by this for now. We'll go ahead and use you even though you're about to uh, flip out on us. And then we'll just do that a little bit there. Oh wait, we need one more. There we go. And while that's going, we're gonna go ahead and start with another batch because it looks like you're gonna be a little bit of a complainer. Let's see, so we'll do that and that, and that should set that up beautifully. And so these guys should be only like a minute or so behind the previous ones. So hopefully that's not enough time for them to uh, lose their cool and go busting out of the enclosure and everything. There's the other three that we were missing before. Ooh, and we're gonna have to wait a minute. We don't have scientists available. So it's gonna be a little bit longer than the whole minute delay that we were originally thinking it would be, but that's okay. Oh, are you kidding me? I was literally just talking about how this would be the last thing I need. And now, of course, need to make Mementosaurs all over again. Also, I think you totally just destroyed my tour vehicles. Oh, not my Mementosaurs. They were so big and pretty and beautiful. I don't even have sauropods. This is gonna probably take a pretty good tanking on my rating. That's actually pretty concerning. Oh well, either way, we'll release these here now and see if that's enough. I think this is only the batch of one though, or I mean, I'm... I'm certain that it is, but let's see what it looks like. We've never- oh my god, it's so tiny. We've never seen Hyungosaurus so far. So, I hadn't been doing this with the first few episodes of this, but lately what I've started doing- Hello, cutie! Is I've started making the dinosaurs look like they actually belong in the environment, so I've been trying to go for a bunch of these- Oh! So I've been trying to go for a bunch of these, a little bit more of like a desert sort of vibe, with their skins and everything, like you can see, for a small little- herbivorous creature like this, she'd probably want to, uh, you know, blend in with the terrain and be a little bit less visible, more subtle. 
So she's got the desert colored skin and the like sandstone colored spikes along her back and everything. Looks pretty good. I can definitely picture that being here. Wait, you're missing open space? No, 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 you're not. That's just because you haven't expanded your territory. Aha, and here goes the rest of our adorable little Hyungasaurus. So let's see what it looks like when three of them come out. This should be adorable. Hey there, little fellas. Welcome to this big, brave world you're about to enter. Man, I love the Hyungasaurus. I think this might have actually been one of the creatures that they made the that they made into like the deluxe edition. I don't think this is base game anymore, unfortunately. So, if you love the Hyungasaurus as much as I do, then hopefully you're able to get the deluxe edition, which I think is only like five or so more dollars, so not a big deal, but I know that it's not fun spending money. So it's kind of kind of not cool for Frontier to make a previous creature uh, all of a sudden into a deluxe one. Like, that's not really cool, but hopefully you just don't like Hyungasaurus then. What did it say it was missing? Ground fiber? Alrighty, so check this out. I've just gone ahead and started research for Sukumimus because we're starting to get to that point where we really just need some raiding and and because my highly rated creatures that were shipped in from like just the base game mission sort of stuff like the Minotaur, Tyrannosaurus, and a few like the Lophosaur, Parasaurus, things like that are starting to die off, I'm gonna go ahead and have to get some other highly rated creatures and the things that have the most rating are bigger carnivores so I've just gone ahead and actually done the research to get some Sukumimus, and you can see I've actually got an expedition already headed out to go and collect some fossils and we're gonna go ahead and make a nice Sukumimus enclosure right here. It's pretty dangerous to send the tour vehicles through the Sukumimus, at least I imagine it is, so this could be a bad idea, we'll see what happens, but if it doesn't work out we can always just kind of direct it around it and then do something else. I don't really know exactly what's gonna happen, but we're gonna try a couple things out and see just what works best. Oh snap, we did it. Let's I'm go. I'll let her talk first. That's available to build on. We can expand the park. Really make it something. Oh, I thought she was gonna keep talking, I guess not. So what I went ahead and did is I made the Chasmosaurus and I just put it in the enclosure with the Parasaurolophus just to have another creature, because I knew that they wouldn't fight or anything. Or at least I don't think they will. Hopefully they don't. Uh looks like we'll need that and that. Um, but that apparently was enough to tick us over and get on to the next mission. So now we can expand the final segment of the park, which who knows when that'll be done. Um, it looks like it'll be done in 52 seconds. All right. So I guess now we just have to prepare for the next little segment. Who knows what that'll be all about. Let's see. We'll just keep this in three times speed to keep it moving along. Man, I tell you, these Dilophosaurus fight more than anything else. It's just a constant chain of swapping them in and out. Like, look, you can see I have one in there. You can see I have... Oh, wait, that's the one that's going there. But you can see I have this one right here. Oh, look. Well, I guess it's already been dropped off. But I literally just had to drop one off in there and just go put it back there. That's probably what this is right here. So Jurassic I'm dialogue, but here's what, uh, here's what Lily has to say. Bring it back from the brink. And the dinosaur is back from beyond Just reach four stars. That's pretty easy, more to I do think. <laughs> if we're to see the facility at its peak, more land should help. I would think that more guests and more dinosaurs with a greater variety of species would work as well. Correct. Let's get our park rating up across the board. What do you think, Dr. Malcolm? Well, you know, Thomas Edison uh, once said that just because something doesn't go as planned doesn't mean that it's useless. And when it comes to Jurassic Park, that has surprisingly turned out to be true for now. So. Perhaps what's been achieved in San Diego is a tribute to those who would never leave the island. A painful and tragic legacy, but one that would be the foundation of a world forever changed by resurrecting its past and then turning it into theme park attractions. The fact that no one could have predicted that dinosaurs and humans would breathe the same air uh, gives me pause. <laughs> And it also, uh, it also makes me smile. <laughs> oh, that Dr. Malcolm. Oh, snap, a fence broke. Oh my god, they've already broke out. What is wrong with you people? No, 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 everybody stop. Everybody stop doing what you're doing. Why are you guys doing this? Please don't do this. Please don't. Oh, I can't even use that one. Everybody get back to one time speed. No wonder everybody's busting out so quickly. Oh my god, at least they got that one down already. Helicopter should be making its way here for this one. Uh, get you in there so that the ranger team can actually fix that gate now. Or fence, you know what I mean, you know what I'm trying to say. Why are y'all busting out already? 
What in the world happened in that short amount of time? Missing ground life. All of this fuss for a couple of leaves, huh? What is wrong with you people? There you go. How's that? You happy now? Okay, I think they're all happy now. Jeepers, creepers, and now I'm being hit by a storm. Oh my goodness gracious. And the game crashed. Okay, I think that's as good a sign as any to go ahead and just call it there. I was really hoping to finish this whole Lost World segment today, but it's looking like the universe is just going against me today. So it looks like we'll have to extend it out for one final last episode next time. No matter what happens, next one will be the last one. No matter how long it takes, it will be the last one. So, with that being said, thank you so much for watching everybody. I hope you enjoyed this, and until next time, I'll see you later. Bye-bye.